Welcome to Painted Kids Studio, where we make amazing art videos. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you can be notified every time we post a new art video. Hello friends, Miss Kate here with another unicorn animal. So this one is called a catacorn and it is a cat with a unicorn horn. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to draw this today with, I'm working with Sharpie on paper, but I would like for you guys to start with pencil and eraser just in case you make some mistakes. You also, this is a really cute um, painting. So if you're working on canvas, that's awesome. You can draw this on canvas and paint it as well. So I'm gonna start my catacorn with the head. So the head is gonna be a circle, but I'm gonna leave a little space for the horns. I'm gonna show you what I mean. So I'm gonna do a nice big circle, but I'm not quite gonna complete it. I'm gonna leave a little empty spot up here to put that unicorn horn. So now I'm ready for the unicorn horn. I'm gonna draw kind of like a tall, thin mountain, like that. And that's gonna become our unicorn horn, or our catacorn horn today. So I'm gonna draw like a curve at the bottom, and then whenever I do these horns like this, I do these curved lines like that. And then we're ready for our catacorn's face. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I have this big circle, but I'm gonna put a little circle inside that big circle. And this is the snout, like the front of the face. And it's gonna have the little kitty nose and mouth inside. So to make a kitten's mouth, I start with like a little dash like this. And then I put the letter V underneath it and it's just like a little triangle nose. And that's what cats have. They have these like, teeny tiny little triangle noses. So after I have the triangle nose, I'm gonna do my swoopy whoopy mouth, like that. And cats have whiskers. So I always like, whenever I'm doing a cat, I like to add some whiskers here, like that. And then after you have your whiskers on, we're ready for our eyes. Now you guys can do your eyes however you want. If you guys want your um, cat to be sleeping or winking, you can, but I'm gonna do both my eyes open and I'm gonna do my cutie eyes. So those of you that paint with me a lot know how much I love these cutie eyes. So the way I do my cutie eyes is I do two big circles like this. And then I put another circle inside, kind of turns them into donuts like that. And then I'm gonna put a couple sparkles in there in the middle of the donut and color it in. Just like this. And if you want to, sometimes I'll even add little eyelashes. Oh, that's cute. There we go, that's cute. All right, so cat ears, cause now we got our catacorn's ears we gotta do. So cat's ears are triangles. So I'm just gonna go like this. I'm gonna do one triangle and then a little triangle inside. One triangle and then a little triangle inside. I always like to put these little pinky middles in my animal animal's ears just for a little bit of extra color. So after you have your catacorn's ears done, we are ready for the body. So I'm simplifying the body. It's gonna look like it's just sitting down. And so I'm gonna show you how I do like my cute little like, it almost looks like a stuffed animal. All right, this is how I do my cute little body. Okay, so I'm gonna do like a line down and a line down, kind of like that. And then I'm gonna do a line in the middle and I'm just gonna curve this way and curve that way. And then if you want to put little like paw lines in there, you can, like that. So these are the two front legs. So the next thing we need to do is we need to see the cat's bottom, it's sitting down. So I'm gonna go like this to the side and turn around. Down, 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 turn around. Like that. And then cats always have like a tail. So I wanna do like a cute, like fluffy tail like this. So there's my cat, catacorn's fluffy tail. So after you get to this point, if you wanna add anything extra to your catacorn, you can. I know some of my friends like to put little flowers in their hair or like a little scarf or a necklace. If you guys wanna add some little extra details, that's fine. You guys can also color the background or paint the background any way that you want. You could have, this would be a really fun painting because catacorns are a magical animal. It might be really fun to do like a rainbow in the background or something fun like that. But again, you guys can color this any way that you want. Usually when I'm drawing cats, I usually make them orange 
because those are like my favorite kinds of cats. I love orange tabby cats. So if you want to be like me and, and make an orange, orange cat, you can. But again, paint this any way that you want. Thank you guys so much for joining me for another painting lesson. I am posting these every day until we go back to school. Um, I'm painting, I'm posting them um, at 1 p.m. every day and I hope to draw or paint with you again tomorrow.